Hey guys, today I have an interesting little padlock called a take arms lock. And uh, as you can see, it has a pretty cool keyway. It's more or less just a variation on a circular dimple lock. I, I know I've featured a lot of those, except this circle has been pinched in on the sides. And you can see that on the key here. Uh, it looks like a circular dimple lock, except the sides have been pushed in just like this. So... Um, more than just the creating a different shape of keyway, this lock actually uh, makes it quite difficult to tension because, uh, you know, a lot of these circular dimple locks have a notch cut out in the key and there'll be like a bar in the back uh, deep within the core. When you stick the key in, that notch will like attach to that bar and you know you could tension the lock and usually how I'll do that is I'll just you know stick a tension wrench in the core and like catch onto the bar and try to pick like that however this does not have that and uh, the shape I mean the, the tension from this lock just comes from the key uh, from this curvature catching onto the side of the core you know uh, that curvature right there that provides the tension that, so it doesn't use any sort of notch or anything like that. And then the lock operates like this. So when I first uh, wanted to pick this lock, I had some problems because I didn't know how to tension it. Uh, because you can't tension off the pins because this keyway being squished together like this doesn't really provide any room for you to uh, put a tension wrench without actually blocking one side of the pins or pushing stuff down or let's say even if you have a tension wrench in here and you're tensioning off the pins like you would maybe a maxis lock uh it's basic eventually you're gonna have to touch that pin that you have tension on and you're gonna lose the tension trust me i i i was messing around with that for a long long time i just could not get this thing picked with the tools that i had Luckily, I recently got a tool which allowed me to get some tension on this thing. And I'm going to show you how I did that, what tool I used. And yeah, hopefully get this picked on camera. So let me get everything set up and I'll try to pick for you. All right, guys, as I mentioned, I have a ton of like tension bars and all sorts of tools I've been using to try to get tension on this lock. And... Uh, Man, let me tell you, I've tried everything. Nothing was working. Sometimes I'd get tension, then I'd lose it. Other times I'm just blocking stuff. I thought maybe this tubular tension wrench might fit in there, but unfortunately it doesn't. Recently I got something in the mail, and it's this Sparrows uh, Ultra Wide uh, pry bar. And as you can see, it's um, much thicker than other pry bars. So I, when I saw this, I said, let me go back to that take arms lock, see if I could get this thing to fit in there. And I have, except it's very touchy. I'm gonna use the short end so I don't interfere with the pins, okay? So I just wanna get tension right above the pins. There you go. Right just wedged in between there, almost like splitting that keyway in half. And you can see, actually, there's one, now one pin stack here, one pin stack here, one pin stack here, and one pin stack here. And uh, I've kind of split the keyway in half, and I'm just gonna use this double ball rake to go in there and maybe and rake both uh, sets of pins, uh, just like this. Because if I stick it in diagonally, I could actually touch both pin stacks. So it's pretty efficient to rake with this double ball. The only problem is you may overset some pins but I'm gonna try to get around that by pulsing my tension and maybe reverse picking some of these pins on the way down uh, when they spring back into place. So I need to be really careful. The tension on this lock, it's really tricky. It, it, I barely have tension here, so if I knock that tension wrench with my pick, I'm going to, um, I'm going to lose tension here, and that's really annoying as a lot of you can imagine. So here we go. So hearing something's click into place here. My tension wrench is moving because I was sloppy and hit it with my pick. This is bad. 
<laughs> okay, so you can see it's slipping here. I'm going to, all right, God, man, see, sometimes in the game of picking, tension is everything. And even though the lock is not super sophisticated, it is way harder. At least it's taken me way longer than I thought to pick this thing just because it's such a weird keyway. I'm going to be much more careful this time not to knock my pry bar as I'm raking these pin stacks on this side. And then now on this side, let's try to get a good view here. Okay, so pins are binding. You can see it's having trouble sticking the rake in. Okay, I need to be careful here. Sorry, doing this to the viewfinder is a bit tough. Okay, I'm going to... Okay. Some things are clicking into place here. Going to go back to this side. Great. So, I feel like I'm making progress here. I just need to not mess it up. Slow and steady. This side now. Okay, there we are. Yes, got it. There it is. Let me just complete the turning of the core, and we have picked the lock open just like this. Man, see, right at the end, too, my tension bar flew out because <laughs> it was just barely hanging on. So yeah, anyway, there it is picked, the take arms padlock. Uh, much bigger challenge than I originally thought and it all has to do with the tension game on this thing. So thank you uh, to this great wide pry bar. So there it is, picked. Anyway, I uh, hope that was a cool lock for you guys and I'm gonna continue searching for some of these strange locks, although they are getting harder to find. <laughs> I've been looking and looking, but I'll do my best to try to get some more locks for you guys to see. But in the meantime, uh, take care and I'll check you guys in the next video.